everybody for those of you who don't know me I'm Nikki from the sewing shed I'm going to give you an introduction this morning about the journal class which is going to start in October um, okay so what is the journal class well it's a 12 month course where you have 12 classes over the 12 months and you get to learn a different technique and color theory every month so each month you'll receive um, a tutorial on what we're going to do and you'll get an aspect of colour theory and a technique. So basically you're going to make yourself a set of journal quilts that you're going to be able to refer back to for colour theory and techniques forevermore. So I've run this class before but this is the first time online. So um, when we ran it as a class I encouraged everybody to buy themselves a little suitcase that you can keep your quilts in. Um, and I've actually got Sarah's uh, journal quilts to show you. Now, um, everybody's will be very different because your interpretation of the if each month will be your own. And we really encourage to do that. But these are some of Sarah's quilts. Um, so I'm just going to show you a couple of them. And they're sort of, uh, they reflect that we've done different techniques. Um, so I'm just going to go through a few of them. They're all more or less the same size, so she's got the perfect little collection that fits into her case. Um, and we do things like, this one is Discord, um, and this is like layers of applique. So like I say, you do a different technique, um, and you're covering the aspects of colour theory. You... Um, so you'll have your own little collection. Now, if you want to, you can make yourself a journal. You don't have to do this, but if you want to, you can. This is a good way of recording um, any research that you've done for yourself or um, anything that you'd like to revisit in the future. You don't have to do it, but for those of you who are really enthusiastic and who like this sort of thing, you can do it. But like, it's just totally a different option. And as we work through the different elements of design and colour, um, you can create your own journal notebook so you can see she's done lots of research but this course is all about putting in the amount of work that you want to do yourself and everybody's individual body of work will be very different to each other's there's no right or wrong there's no prescribed um, exact or what, what we're going to do for you is we're going to give you a free taster session um, so we're going to create a tutorial that you can follow and look at to see whether it really is for you um, it's a fantastic course and it's one that everybody will really enjoy if you're interested in that sort of thing. And we're also going to have a gallery that you can upload your images of your journal quilts each month. So we're going to do the taster class. I've decided to make um, a new set of journal quilts for myself. And I found this really cute vintage suitcase um, in a second hand store. So I'm going to be using this and I've measured my suitcase and... Um, I'm going to be making my journal quilts to fit this. It doesn't have to be a suitcase, it can be a box, a vessel, or you don't have to have anything. You can just store them, but just decide on a size. They're really doable because it's not a big quilt. It's a small little project that you have to complete every month. And um, you'll, you don't need any special requirements. You've probably got most of what you need um, in the form of scraps and maybe threads. And if there's anything specialist you need, I will, I'll let you know in advance. So that's about it. That's the summary of the journal uh, course. And um, I hope you enjoy our taster session. So check out the links above or below. And we hope to see you all very soon.